Hi. In today's video, we're going to discuss about home science class 10, practical number three. Now, previously, I have done two videos relating to the same topic, uh, but that was for practical one. I've uh, attached a link for practical one, and uh, the other one was practical two. Again, I'm attaching the link for practical two also. Here uh, in today's video, we'll be discussing about practical number three. So for practical three, we're going to discuss about how to prepare a first aid kit. Now, as far as it goes for the syllabus of home science, uh, chapter 13, that is from your textbook, chapter 13, safety at home. Chapter basically tells us about the different fatal uh, accidents that can happen if we are not taking necessary precautions and if such fatal accidents or any emergency situations happen then what is the primary uh, task that you are supposed to do and for that reason uh, we need uh, to use the first aid kit so this experiment or this practical is relating to chapter 13 from your home science syllabus okay so in your practical uh, book what you'll be doing is take a new sheet for practical number three like write down the heading as practical number three write down the aim as to prepare a first aid kit after that note down the objectives objective means after you finish off this practical what do you understand from this so basically what we'll be learning is listing the first aid items required to handle emergencies at home identify sources to obtain the material required assembling a first aid kit and list points which will add to the efficiency of a first aid box so basically after doing this experiment or after understanding this experiment you will be knowing that you know what all items are required in a first aid kit okay and these items from where can you obtain these items how will you be assembling a first aid kit and you know there are certain factors that you have to keep in mind when you're handling a first aid kit okay because uh, your first aid kit uh, need to be regularly updated so that you know expired medicines or any sort of such medications will be removed on timely manner so that adds to the efficiency of your first aid box so these are the points that you have to write on the objectives so for materials required that is to conduct this uh, practical experiment or practical exercise what you need is you need a box uh, you need a detol uh, some antiseptic creams you need scissors a bandage uh, cotton plug again uh, certain painkillers like aspirin thermometer and so on okay so these are the items required for the experiment or the practical to be conducted now what is the procedure so in procedure what you have to understand is take any sturdy box available at home collect the items which are available at home buy the items which are not available at home put all these items in the box keep the box within easy reach so for procedure for doing this experiment first is you need to get a box okay it should be a good solid or a sturdy box okay and if you can find such box from home well and good suppose if it's not there you can buy such boxes from the market also you get these first aid boxes available in the market now the necessary items such as detol or antiseptic creams or scissors whatever is available at home collect all those items then certain items which are not available at home let's say you don't have a painkiller or you don't have an antiseptic cream or you don't have cotton plug what you can do is you can buy these items from the market okay and all these collected items you can put it in the box and make sure that you keep it at a place which is easily reachable like in emergency situation you need not keep on searching for this box but it is rather easily available to you then what are the precautions that you have to take so for precautions what you have to do is check the medicines for expiry date uh, 
The box should not be kept within the reach of children. Cotton, bandage and box should be clean and sterilized. So these are the points that you have to write for precautions. Okay, so what we are trying to understand from these points is your first aid kit should be up to date. Okay because many a times you ha you tend to forget that some of the medications that are there within the box is expired and you know in an emergency situation maybe you don't actually check the expiry date and you know you may use it and that may lead to certain fatal uh, accidents or issues so what you have to do is make sure that you know on timely basis the expiry date of the medications inside the first aid kit need to be monitored Next thing is this box. It should not be kept within the reach of the children. Many a times, you know, you have small siblings or small kids at home. They don't understand. They don't know that's a first aid kit or, you know, it can be fatal to them. So please make sure that it is not kept in a place which is easily accessible to the children. Then these uh, items that you have in the box, especially the cotton or the you know bandage that we have make sure it is actually clean and sterilized so these are the points that you have to write for precautions so what we finish now is aim objectives materials required procedure and precautions now in the next page what you have to do is you'll be putting up pictures relating to the first aid kit you can search on the internet you will have uh, many different uh, types of picks available for first aid kit okay so you can pick up any one make sure that all the necessary items are basically shown in that pick okay and if you can get a labeled one that's way better okay so if you check the labeled one it shows that we need bandages we need gloves we need um, you know triangular bandages elastic bandages thermometers scissors certain antiseptic wipes okay and cold pack then again the gauze roll pads emergency blackens and so on so most of the necessary items that should be a part of your first aid kit is actually very clearly labeled and shown in the diagram so if you can find such a picture it is actually well and good after that comes the related questions Related questions basically helps us to understand the experiment or the, you know, practical exercise even better. And these are some of the expected questions that you may get during a viva session. Okay, so the first one is list down five items required in a first aid kit. So we have been discussing regarding the materials required for your uh, practical exercise we also saw the pick so from those picks we can actually list out the items you can point out scissors you need plasters you need thermometers you need bandages detol painkillers antiseptic creams uh, cotton plugs okay so you can list out the items that are required so here i've mentioned detol bandages cotton thermometer alcohol free cleansing wipes plaster scissors etc so these are some of the items that should be part of your first aid kit anything other than this from the pick or from the materials required can also be put forward so what is the importance of a clean bandage okay so the point being, whenever you use, you use a bandage, you actually use a fresh one, right? So what is the importance? What is the purpose behind it? So a clean bandage reduces the risk of introducing infection into the wound. Bandage itself is to actually prevent uh, the external entities such as, you know, uh, germs or any sort of infection to enter your wound. Okay, so it is very essential that you know the bandies that you're using for preventing the external infections need to be very clean now let's see the third question why it is important to keep an updated first aid kit it is important to update first aid kit so that during emergency we get all the equipment in correct time and also it is important to change old or expired medicines or items from the first aid kit as it cannot be used for the patient updated first aid kit is a very very essential aspect because first thing is all the necessary items should be available in the first aid kit because during emergency you just take the kit and all the necessary uh, items from the kit 
required in that particular situation will be used so you have to make sure that you know all the necessary items are available inside the kit the second thing is whatever is available okay it shouldn't be expired so it becomes very essential that you know you have updated items or medications inside the box because if old or expired medications are being given to the patient definitely it will be fatal for the patient so it is very essential to keep your first aid uh, kit updated okay so that's about your practical number three practical number three isn't very lengthy it's a short one okay so write down the aim objective materials required procedure precautions make sure on the plain page you have the pick for the first aid kit if you can get a labeled diagram like this it would be way better and then make sure you answer the related questions and once you complete this make sure you submit this to your teacher before submission please make sure that you have filled the practical number three in your index and submit to the teacher and make sure you take the signature from them okay so that was practical number three I hope you understood what to be uh, written for practical number three. I'll be uploading practical number four video soon. So those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe so that you get timely notification. And uh, thank you.